What's going on? Today, we're gonna get fire from Chaga. Chaga, you've seen me harvest it in a previous video and make some tea. I've mentioned that it's a good tinder to make a fire, so today we're gonna actually do that. This is especially good to use if it's been raining for a bunch of days and your typical tinder bundle won't light up as good. Chaga can save the day. We're gonna try to get a cold directly on this chaga here. That was pretty dang easy. Check it out. See that? Check it out. Super easy. This is a great way to transport fire because this coal will just keep on smoldering. So I'd cut a chunk out, pop it in the tinder bundle. So I'm going to take the dull end of the blade here. You've heard me say this a million times, but I say it all the time because it helps me remind myself to always be extremely careful when using a knife. All right, let's see if this is enough. Got my new ferro rod here, it's ginormous. I've always used rinky dinky ones that you get kind of like at Walmart and they break easily and they don't give you as good of a spark. I don't even know how to pronounce this. If you guys can help me out here, Raytail, R-E-H-T-A-E-L. I don't think that you can see the spelling right there. like that we got one so you can see how easy it is to get a coal the thing is is it just does a coal so you have to get yourself a nice tinder bundle to get a fire going
fire. So as you see, it's pretty easy to get fire going with chaga as tinder. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What you hunting? What you hunting in there? Okay, Didi. If we were out surviving, I'd probably say, yo, keep on getting it. But let's leave the little guy alone. Come on, Didi. <laughs>